Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little slight unboxing of some extra posters because I definitely need more of those, which I can't even fit in my room for some reason. It's my little splurge buy, I guess. And I'm also going to be touching base on some new figurines that I'm going to be purchasing because I need to get back into figurine purchasing, but it's been so long since I've done it. So I have a list of all the old figurines I want to buy and they've released like a bunch of them and I can't really like go in and order all them. So what I'm going to be working on right now is each paycheck I get... I'm going to be buying one or two one-fourth bunny girls uh, from freeing because I want to collect some one-fourth scales. I think I'm just going to focus on this theme right now uh, just because I want to still collect figurines. I'm missing on collecting some figurines, but I can't like obviously do a splurge buy as per normal because I usually want to buy other stuff. And with Comic Hat coming up until December, I'm trying to save as much money as I possibly can because I want to just take a huge chunk of money and just blow it all on Comic Hat. And then I might buy like a huge chunk of figurines at that time. But for now, I'm just going to kind of work on collecting some of the bunny figures I missed. I know I still need the Momo from To Love Rue with this bunny girl. They have the two other ones. I think it's Yuki and, uh, uh, oh, I don't even remember the other girl's name. It's been a while. Holy cow. Um, also the To Love Rive, uh, To Love Rue, <laughs> To Love Rive, Love Live figure challenge that I had going on for a while that I really want to kind of work on as well. So I'm going to buy some Love Life figures. Also Conkle. I miss Conkle. They released my Roll 500 figure and I can't even afford it. So I need some extra uh, things on that shelf. And I can't believe I own two of the Lala figures. God, the thing is expensive. Anyways, um, that's kind of what we're going to be doing here today. So for now, we're going to talk about some posters that I ended up buying. Again, from ImageKind. Uh, this is a set of four posters. There was a huge 50% off sale. So I said, you know, why the hell not? Why wouldn't you want to buy anything? Um... As with most of my posters, these kind of just all sit here because I can't really afford to put them anywhere at this point. But at some point, I'm going to put these all in a box. Some point, being the key word there. Um, and then kind of uh, budget it. God, I'm lazy. I'm really lazy when it comes to like organizing this crap because it's just kind of all piling in its own corner. But hey, that's okay. Someday it'll look really nice. What I should actually buy is more Daytoffs. I should because they're now cheaper. But the yen is so good right now. It's gone up. I could buy so many figures. Ah! I need a control. Anyways, let's get these posters unraveled and then kind of uh, talk about that. So for now, I'm going to put the camera down because uh, I can't uh, unwrap this while I'm talking and holding the camera. And we'll look at some of these posters. I'm trying to remember all the ones I ended up. Oh, okay, I remember. Image kind for some reason, just lets me get away with this shit over and over and over again. And I laugh every time because I have no idea how I do this. Hope you like the sounds of me uh, unraveling posters because that's super fun. I think posters are just like a spontaneous buy that I like to purchase because I find they're easy to buy, they're fun, they're cool little additions. They really can spice up a room to show that you like really buy a lot of animated goods. So yeah, let's see, what do I get? Yeah, whatever. They say you get these 15% off deals. It used to be 30% off, but I mean, like, changed it 13% off or 15% off. But then I was like, eh, nope. I just keep buying more and more. And then I just keep waiting for the deals that are actually, like, the good deals, not the shitty deals. Because they have those, like, shitty deals, too. And I don't know what I just said there. But what I mean is... You get all these discounts you're buying from Rich County where they give you like free promo codes so you can get discounts on the next purchases. But the thing with that is I don't really utilize that because I just wait for the website to have like 50% off. Like it did. So I ended up like not paying almost anything for these four posters when they're pretty good size too. So anyways, let's cut space and uh, see what they look like. So the first one here is from an artist. I don't remember the artist, but I don't have enough uh, of the Destroyer Division 9 or 6. I'm sorry, uh characters, Akatsuchi and uh, Hibiki. I love Hibiki. I wish I had more Hibiki shit. 
but I don't. Um, I did end up buying, you know, uh, Hooser Fay uh, blah, Milk Bar shit with Hibiki because that's like the only one that actually does Hibiki stuff. Um, so I wanted more Hibiki shit, and I ended up buying a couple posters in regard to that. There's actually two from Hibiki, and a lot of this stuff is actually Conco posters. Yeah, there's some Conco poster stuff. So this is the first one, uh, pretty good size. This is a hand comparison. I should have a banana for scale, just like Immigrant does use, but uh, I don't have that, so nope, and I'm not going upstairs. Next poster is from a Dojin. Uh, this artist is Gemma. Uh, I like Gemma's works uh, because I think they're cool. Um, he has unique character designs. I don't really remember what kind of art he does. He does a lot of uh, this chick from Kanko. I still don't know this character's name. Really popular in Japan. And then I can't tell who that is on the left. Probably somebody I should know. Uh, I think they're destroyers. I really don't know. But Gemma does a lot of work um, with... Uh, what is it? These these kind of characters. So yeah, I just hadn't, didn't get enough Conco stuff. I, I like Gemma's art. It's pretty good. Check him out. Um, he's on Danboro. He's also on uh, probably Pixiv as well. Um, Gemma does some pretty good art. Uh, G uh, sorry J E M A. I think it's one M. Might be two. Uh, next poster here um, is of some Prisma Ilya stuff. Uh, this actually is the same artist who did the Kuro one, which is a lot smaller. Uh, this one is a lot more enlarged. Um, but you know I like the style of it. I don't know. And it's a unique art style, so I decided to get these two girls as well. There's nothing really special about this one. Um, I need to remind me get the Kuro Beast figure, which is finally out as well. I think it's like on sale for Mandarake, I saw it. It's like 70 bucks, so I should get that before it like goes up in price, especially since it's broccoli, but I don't think it's that expensive, so hopefully I can get it. And then just a mini poster as well of another Hibiki, uh, just a ass shot, I guess. So I don't know who this artist is, and I don't really remember. Anyways, uh, just some extra posters, nothing really too special. Um, I'll probably end up buying the Momo Bunny figure today, because I want at least one figure. But I'm limiting it to one figure because I need to budget that accordingly. Um, unless there's another bunny one. There was the one from uh, How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend, or Boyfriend, or whatever it's called. And that one's really expensive now. I should get that before it goes up way too much in price, because I did end up ordering that from Amiyami originally. And then I, like, changed my mind. Alright, that's it. That's all I got for you in the video. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it. If you have any questions, leave comments in the comment section. Comments, questions, what, whatever it is you're uh, into. And uh, that's it. Thanks for joining me. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.